Hey, Victory Church on the Rock. Welcome back to another devotional. If you don't know who we are, my name is Dustin, and this is Beth, and we're the lead pastors here at Victory Church on the Rock. Yeah, and so today we are going to be reading out of Proverbs uh, chapter 31, verses 8 and 9, and they say, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes, speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. Yeah. We believe that as followers of Christ, we have a responsibility um, to be a voice for the people who maybe don't have a voice or can't speak loud enough to be heard. And there are injustices happening to people all over the world that may have to do with uh, their social status or their race or their religion, mm -hmm. um, and they get crushed. And so we believe that it's our job to speak up and, and shed light on the situation and fight for those who can't fight for themselves. Yeah, and even this week, um, we heard the news that the remains of 215 children were found at a former residential school in Kamloops within our own country. And I think for all of us watching, all of us seeing what's been happening, it's been heartbreaking. Um, just to see, you know, I can't even imagine Beth and I seeing our children um, ripped from our homes um, and sent away and not knowing and them never coming back. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just, you know, as, as believers, as pastors, as Christians, we want our indigenous community to know we're standing with you. Mm -hmm. We want you to know that we love you. We want you to know that we're here for you. We want you to know that, that, that we are... I'm supporting you. Um, you know, this week I didn't even talk to some of my indigenous friends and had conversations just about this because to me, like I, I even to be honest, I've been having trouble sleeping because I'm just thinking about the pain um, that's within our country's story, within Canada's story, um, on things that happened years ago that are still obviously affecting us today because this is something that's affected all of us. And so we want everyone watching to know that we're standing with you. Um, we, we, we want everyone to know that, you know, even what I've heard a lot of people say is, you know, well, this isn't our fault. And maybe it's not. But just because something's not our fault doesn't mean it's not our problem. Yeah. You know, we as believers, we get to stand in the gap for people. We get to be the voice for the voiceless. And, you know, Jesus, I look at my life and what Jesus did for me, right? I mean, my sin, my pain, my mistakes are not his fault. Yeah. You know, Jesus didn't make me do this stuff. I chose to. And, and But Jesus, he still said, hey, it's not your fault. It's not my fault, but I'm still going to make it my problem. And I'm going to help you get out of it. I'm going to go to the cross and die for you. I'm going to give up everything for you because you are valuable. And so that's what we believe as a church. That's what we're excited about as a church, that God is moving um, and that we are here for you, especially our indigenous population right now. We want you to know we are here for you. We know that right now is hard. We know that right now there's a lot of things being brought up that are challenging. Um, and we want everyone to know that, that we love you so, so much. Um, thank you again for joining us even today for our devotional. Well, let's continue this conversation. Reach out to somebody this week. I know it's been hard for a lot, all of us. And we as the believers, we get to be a voice for the voiceless. So we love you. We'll see you this Sunday.